Everybody's been impressed by it, amazed by it going, it looks like nothing we've ever seen in this environment before. With the idea of renovating this space, the idea was that we would take um, existing space and convert that into two state-of-the-art culinary kitchens, one on the savory side and one on the baking and pastry side. Um, I use this sometimes for demonstration. I think it just adds to it. You know, like in previous cases, I could give examples, but here they have a visual, so it just adds to what I am teaching. This particular project has four Ultra HD uh, 20X uh, RoboShot cameras, two in each kitchen. We also have the corresponding one-link receivers in a, in a centralized data closet, distribution closet. We had kind of a, a wide gamut of what would these folks be doing with these technologies. In the culinary kitchens, we have full-time faculty who were able to learn them, and we kind of went, here's the tools at your disposal, here's the first level of stuff we're going to give you, see how much you can teach yourself. And it was pretty amazing, they were like, nope, I can control the cameras, I can change my inputs. Then came the, can I do this with it? And that's where our training came in to go, let me show you how this works with Panopto. Let me show you how this works with Zoom. Let me show you what would happen if you are having a demonstration go on. You can record that and make your own training modules for later to bring up for the students to see in their rooms. Light bulbs kind of went off on heads and went, show me how to use that. We needed to have some expansion and our nursing assistant lab was one of those critical areas. Our primary goal is to really prepare the best health care workers that we possibly can. It's easy. It's just turning it on and clicking our button and then it's moving the cameras as we go, so it's, it's really simple. The baseline functionality is, is really scaled back to be almost self-explanatory on the touch panels. Touch the button and it does what you ask it to. When this project came along, I was looking for a, a true 4K type camera solution with that easy cabling. Everything from other vendors that I could find was all either SDI based, maybe HDMI based, didn't travel well audio cameras with the one links and being able to bring all that stuff across Cat5 cabling. Again, easy and that's why we stuck with it. The quality of the cameras and the, the back end, the web interface, the ability to do RTSP streaming and all that was just an add-on that really has worked out well. But we continue to use audio products and have always had success with them. The goal was really put technology in the room that these instructors have never had at their disposal before. And since we did that, they're using lecture capture technology to record modules and snippets and can show things to the students that they never had the ability to do before.